We continue our exploration of Baja as we head north to Loreto to meet our wives at the airport, visit a couple missions, and spend some time on a few beaches. Thank you for watching. Wow. Good morning. Those balls on the wire are air plants. See them on the uh, telephone wires and also in some of the trees. Right now we are in Constitution. Gonna go back to Lay's and resupply. Then we're going north to Huncolito, which is just south of Loreto. It is Monday morning and things are pretty active in town. Okay, we are leaving Constitution, heading north and then east on Highway 1 towards Loreto. We are off the flat and into the mountains. You see the uh, road we're going to be on down there. A little bit of uphill traffic, some downhill traffic. There is very little shoulder and few guardrails on most of the roads in Baja. And we're back to the east side, to the Cortez side, and not too far from Huncolito. I drive these roads and I'm just amazed at the work it took to get them cut into the sides of the mountains. And we got a little road work. These stripes are warning stripes. Could be a topo or a speed bump. Could be a crosswalk. That one's for was for a retirement community. We are going to stop at the marina south of Loreto, have lunch, look around. Lots of sailboats. It was Valentine's Day, so we got a heart-shaped marshmallow with our burgers. And welcome to the beach at Huncolito. The bay was calm and inviting at sunrise the following morning. I spent most of my days at Huncolito either walking or floating. Pat and Daniel spent a lot of time exploring the rocky coastline. On one of our walks, we found a small shrine. That one time we should have bought it. Because he really wanted to try it. When the wind is up, the bay is a good place to kite surf. Good morning. We are just leaving Huncolito. Headed for Loretto. Today's the day that Charles and I pick up our wives at the airport. Welcome to Loretto, where we are just about to the RV park. Once we get settled, we will head to the airport to pick up Ann and Sharon. Dinner that night was at the local steakhouse. After dinner, we took our walk along the Malacan. The following day, we took the one hour drive up into the mountains to visit the San Javier mission. And welcome to San Javier. Turn right onto Carretera de Los Cerritos La Calera. Then turn right. <laughs> That is a beautiful old building, 1699. We returned to Loreto after visiting the mission and had lunch at Augie's on the Malacan. <laughs> Afterward, we spent some time exploring Loreto. 
too cold up there? Or could you grow it? You can grow it. Okay. So this is the mission in Loretto. Well, I should be in good view at the top of this hill. The following day, we continued north. Yep, not too bad. I would imagine a lot of these roads started out as native trails and then the Spanish and the missionaries brought their mules and donkeys and everything along them and then eventually carts and so forth until we have automobiles and gravel roads and then automobiles and pavement. And coming up to the checkpoint. Hola. Hola. Buenos días. Buenos días. Uh, Conception Bay. Ah, uh, Conception Bay. Ah, Conception. Yeah, Conception. Vienen todos juntos. Ah, one, two, and then two back there. The two with the uh, the jeep and the uh, pickup truck with the tent on top. Oh yeah. Okay. Algo cuidado, Okay, crash this. Hey. Say Cheetos. You want to say what? Cheetos. Thank you in Spanish. I mean, South end of Conception Bay. Hey, Lily, what's your plan when you get a good spot to? We'll stop to take a break, all right? We got a couple cars behind us. Copy that. That's what it's safe to do. Not a big rush to do. Okay, I'm coming up uh, to a wide spot right now. I'll pull in behind the truck. Ooh, sailboat us out there. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, there are lots of vehicles down there. Yeah, I think that's El Coyote. This is the beach I'm talking about right here, Larry. If it's not too busy, we'll come over this one right here. Look at that nice sandy beach. Yeah, it looks great. The beach we stayed at for a couple days was a little crowded, although the sunsets and sunrises made up for it. We spent two days relaxing, taking long walks and playing cornhole. We were pleasantly surprised to see efflorescent algae in the waves one night, and also by a fireworks show the night before we left. Good morning. We are leaving the beach and will stop in Mulahe for supplies before continuing north to Punta Chivato. We found a small market and then walked over to the bakery and the town square. Motorcycles. Oh, nice to see you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Welcome to Punta Chivato. We'll be visiting a friend here for a few days. Later that day, we walked to the Shell Beach to look for treasures. We spent part of the morning walking over to the point to look at the abandoned hotel. Good morning. Today our destination is Guerra Negro with a few stops along the way. Well, the view's good. That looks like your cistern. 
We are at an unnamed beach in an undisclosed location. The north facing beach so that it gets more wind than other beaches. One of the interesting things about it is that all these little pieces of shell are polished smooth. So they must get a lot of wave action on this beach. I set my ring down on the shelves to give you an idea of their size. And also their size in relation to a footprint. We're just south of Santa Rosalita. Okay, we got fuel. Time to leave Santa Rosalia. What? Time to leave Santa Rosalia. <clears throat> Welcome to San Ignacio. This town takes their speed bumps very seriously. <laughs> this was like a uh, little oasis down in here. Oh, that's right. There's a spring here that's supposed to be healing waters. And, and welcome to the town square. Find a place to park. I'm going to go around the corner. They got huge trees here. I thank those of you who have made donations to the channel. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. You can use PayPal to make a donation to help support the creation of more videos on this channel. The link is in the description below. Nice little lake or pond. You're welcome to leave your comments and feedback below. Welcome back to Guerrero Negro. In the next and final episode, we will have some close encounters with the gray whales. Visit the Bone and Shell Beach and hike up to some cave paintings. I hope you can join us. Thank you for watching.